Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have a review for you guys in Weaponized Kanata. Now I'm sorry that this had actually taken some time for me to make. I've just been testing the vehicle most of the day. But the Weaponized Kanata, this is a weaponized version of the Kanata helicopter that we had gotten last year. And it's actually a pretty expensive helicopter costing $3,385,000. But one thing that you actually notice about the Kanata when you actually customize it, you actually do save a little bit of money when you're customizing it because you actually don't have to buy the machine guns or the missile pods. So the weapons actually come standard with it. You do have other upgrades like the armor, you know, the speed, uh, you know, the handling. Uh, and you can put on, you know, different um, livery paints on here, but you actually don't have to pay for the weapons I itself. However, though, even though the helicopter does have good agility and it does have good speed, one really disappointing thing that you actually notice about the helicopter pretty quickly is that the helicopter does not have infinite missiles like the Sparrow. You know, you never run out of the missiles, don't get me wrong, but what I mean by infinite missiles is that a vehicle like the Sparrow, you can just keep spamming the missiles, just hold down X on the PlayStation or A on, on the Xbox, but on this one, if you hold down the fire button, it, you're basically getting buzzard missiles, even though you have multiple missile pods on here, so there's a few second delay between each shot. It's still very effective, don't get me wrong, like, I was able to complete a headhunter in just, you know, three minutes, but it's not, you know, infinite, you know, spraying missiles like you do have in other aircraft, which is a bit disappointing. So starting off early in this review, I wanted to do a speed test against a few other helicopters, and I want to thank my friends Sebi and Timmy for helping me out with this, and these speed tests will be sped up because we have a few of them to do, but in this first test, we have a Kanata fully upgraded regular one that's on the left side, and we also have the Buzzard on the right. So we're gonna, all starting off at the same time in this race, and the Buzzard is no match for both Kanadas. The Kanadas will just destroy the buzzard in speed, they will easily outrun it, they will easily catch up to it. But when it comes to the weaponized Kanada versus the regular Kanada, the regular Kanada is actually faster. Um, not by much, it's not by a significant amount, it will actually gain altitude a little bit faster. Uh, my friend here wasn't trying to gain altitude that much, but the regular Kanada will actually gain altitude more than the weaponized Kanada, and it's a tiny bit faster. As you guys can see right here, we both beat the buzzard and the regular um, Kanata ends up beating me. Now, I wanted to do a few more tests regarding this. We decided to do a second race right here, and this one is at kind of pretty high altitude, not all the way at the very top, but kind of in the middle, and we're both racing against the Buzzard and the Ka and their standard Kanata here. But in this test, what happened is, I told my friend and the Buzzard to actually get a head start, and then afterwards, I will actually start going, and then the regular Kanata will... will Try to see if they can catch up to me. And I was able to catch up to the buzzard. I was able to pass it, no problem. But when it came to the regular Kanata, the regular Kanata was actually able to pass me eventually. It took a little bit of time. We raced all the way up to Polito Bay, but it was able to pass me. And then we also have a third test right here, racing against that, uh, racing against the Kanata, also trying to gain altitude as we're flying forward. So when it comes down to it, the weaponized Kanata is faster than the buzzard, but when it comes to the standard Kanata, it's a little bit faster than the weaponized Kanata, but not by much. It's not significant. You won't be able to tell unless you look really closely to it. But it does make sense on why the, on why the weaponized Kanata is actually slower than the regular Kanata, because regular uh, Kanata doesn't have guns. So the weapons on it are actually slowing it down by a little bit. At least that's my guess. I also want to do one more speed test, because I figured, you know what, I'm going to test this thing against the Sparrow. The reason I chose the Sparrow is because the Sparrow is a very commonly used helicopter, and it's also weaponized. So, we did a speed test against the Sparrow, and I decided to get a head start here. And even though I got a head start, Sparrow eventually did overtake me, and actually did get a pretty good distance on me. We decided to do a second speed test then. And in the second speed test that we did, we were doing it at a pretty higher altitude, and again, Sparrow does catch up to me over time. Now, the Sparrow is not able to climb. It's not able to gain altitude like the weaponized Kanata, but it makes up for that in its speed. So yes, Sparrow is actually significantly faster than the Kanata. It will easily outrun the Kanata and will catch up to it no problem. I also wanted to do an altitude test against uh, three other helicopters, Kanata, Buzzard, and Sparrow right here. And I also want to thank my friend Melon for also helping out with this test. So in this first uh, altitude test, the, um, the other, I let the other helicopters actually gain a little bit of a head start, see if I could catch up to them. Now, I easily catch up to the Sparrow, and I catch up to the Buzzard, so when it comes to the straight altitude, the Kanadas destroy most other helicopters. They're actually really good at climbing. However, though, I was not able to catch up to the regular Kanada. Now, we actually did a second test, and in the second test, we both started at the exact same time, and we were both going up. And from my calculations here, from what I see, 
it looks like they're both ex the exact same speed when it comes to altitude. So when it comes to overall just top speed going forward, the regular standard Kanata is faster than the weaponized Kanata. But when it comes to gaining altitude, they are both pretty much the same. But nonetheless, the Kanadas are actually one of the best helicopters in the game for gaining altitude. And you can actually go in a straight line keep flying forward and gaining altitude at the same time. A lot of other helicopters like the Buzzard and the Sparrow, when you actually try to gain altitude when you're actually flying forward, you will actually lose altitude over time. But what about dogfighting? How is this helicopter versus other helicopters? And I'll have to say, this is probably the best part about this helicopter. Oftentimes, you're not going to be in a helicopter fight versus another helicopter. But still, if you go up against players in another helicopter, this thing is actually a great vehicle for that. I know it might be a little controversial here, but I do really think this is a very underrated helicopter in that regard. Now look, I went up against, you know, two other helicopters here. I went up against the Buzzard a few times, and I also went up against the Sparrow later on. But first off with the Buzzard. So the Buzzard and the Sparrow both have the exact same missiles. It's a few seconds between each missile. But here's the thing about the, about the Kanata. The Kanata can climb so easily. Remember how I t showed you guys? It gains altitude much better than both the Buzzard and the Sparrow. Because it gains altitude much better than those aircraft, it can gain a huge advantage. When you're actually over another helicopter, you can rain missiles directly down on them or fire your machine guns right at that um, helicopter. When they're below you, they're going to have to aim up at an angle to get you. But when you're above them, all you got to do is aim down. So they're actually at a disadvantage with that. So if you get into a dogfight with this helicopter, just gain altitude. Other helicopters will be struggling to gain the same altitude as you. So you see, in a few cases, I actually blew up the sparrows. And I actually did blow up the buzzards as well. And also, I dogfighted the buzzard. When I dogfighted the buzzard with machine guns, it did take a little bit of time. I'm not the best with machine guns. I'm much better with missiles when it comes from helicopter to helicopter. But still, I was able to have a good advantage on my friend here because of the fact that he had to tilt his helicopter up. I was above him the entire time, kept shooting him, and took him down. So, if you're dogfighting another helicopter with this thing... I actually don't think it's that bad. Just the fact that it can gain altitude gives it a huge plus in combat over other helicopters. And there's one other feature I want to talk about with this helicopter, and I want to thank my friend Venge for flying during this part. But this helicopter, the weaponized Kanata, actually has the camera gun, which I don't think really anybody has been talking about this. Now, the camera gun, this is a weapon that also appears in the Buzzard and a few other helicopters, but what this basically is, is the, the co-pilot. They are, they are able to mark players, so when you actually spot players the camera gun, you're able to mark them, and you press X um, on the PlayStation or A on, on the Xbox, and they will be blinking on the map. But here's the thing, it's not just a camera, you can also fire a missile, and this missile is not lock-on, uh, this missile does not travel around where you point uh, the camera, so just wherever you point it and that you shoot the missile, that is actually where the missile will actually go. And the advantage of this is that the helicopter does not actually have to tilt down to fire, so helicopter can actually be flying in a perfectly straight line and you can just fire a missile right down there only effective you have a co-pilot obviously but a neat little feature i also wanted to mention with the helicopter and lastly here we have a damage test now this is probably i would say the worst thing about the weaponized kanada that it only takes one homing missile I am not joking on that. I was very surprised by this. It only took one missile. I was thinking that it was going to take two. I wasn't expecting, you know, some, t it to take a bunch, don't get me wrong. But I was expecting it would at least take two, but unfortunately it doesn't. It just takes one. However, though, when it actually comes to Explosive Sniper, it's actually a different story. It actually takes five rounds. was actually very surprised by that. So... One homing missile, but five explosive rounds. And I've, I've seen that lately with some of these vehicles that Rockstar has been releasing, they're very sensitive to missiles, but then when it comes to explosive rounds, they're able to take much more. And here at the end, we come to our pros and the cons. The pros of this helicopter is it's very fast. You know, it's not as fast as, for example, the Sparrow, but nonetheless, it's a very fast helicopter. It easily beats the Buzzard in speed. It's agile. It definitely has good agility, can definitely make quick, sharp turns. It can gain altitude fast. You know, this is where, you know, this helicopter beats a lot of the other attack helicopters, like the Sparrow and the Buzzard. The fact that it can gain altitude much quicker. So it might not have as good missiles like the, like the Sparrow, but it can gain altitude over the Sparrow and have a huge advantage firing from above it. Weapons are free in this aircraft, which I was actually very surprised by. I was very surprised that you didn't have to actually buy the missile pod and machine guns. Um, it's unfortunate, though, you weren't able to convert the regular Kanada, but still, um, you know, at least the weapons on this are free. There's a camera gun. A lot of people aren't going to make use of this, but I still wanted to add that as a pro. 
Cons are it can only hold two players. Um, you know, this I didn't really show that much in the review, but the regular Kanata, it can have four players. This one can have two. In the back, apparently, that's ammunition and some other cargo, but, you know, it's GTA. You know, why aren't we able to carry more players? Maybe actually have two players in the back, you know, maybe add mini guns to the back of this thing or let other players control that or maybe let them, you know, you repel down like from the Stealth Annihilator. That would be a cool feature, right? Has very weak armor, so only just one homing missile, it's done. It has a missile cooldown, you know, it has basically buzzard missiles on this thing, uh, so missiles, few second cooldown on each one. It cannot be spawned as a CEO. This I didn't mention in the review, but I wanted to cover. Uh, that just really sucks, because I wish you could spawn this as a CEO, because Rockstar keeps adding a lot of these helicopters to the game, but I really wish you could, you know, spawn this as a CEO, you know, and, you know, and they could balance it out that if you spawn this thing, for example, you can't spawn the buzzard for a few minutes, or if you spawn the buzzard, you can't spawn this for a few minutes. You know, they could do like a, a balance with the CEO with that, but I don't know why they can't let you spawn these things with the CEO, and it's expensive, you know, this is over a $3 million helicopter, three million three hundred fifty thousand. but other than that, I do think it's a great helicopter, I do think it's interesting, you know, people are saying, you know, this, this helicopter is, you know, the worst attack helicopter in the game, no, 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 I definitely think, you know, it's a great underrated helicopter, there are definitely cons to this thing, but I do think it's overall a great helicopter, so thank you guys for watching, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, do drop a like, it does help me to make more content like this, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.